Mark, so tell me all about what you are doing for the Wessex Cancer Trust. Yeah, yes, I was uh, invited by Lorraine from Wessex Cancer Trust to uh, perform a song or two um, from the studio here that we have over uh, on the island, you know, while we're all socially distancing and what have you. And Wessex Cancer Trust is um, something that's quite close to my heart because uh, they very kindly invited me to open the Cancer Centre in Newport uh, a couple of months back. And... Um, I think I have a bad track record, actually, I own it because uh, every time I open something in a short while, <laughs> it always seems to close. And, um, of course, the reason that this uh, that the cancer support unit has shut down is, is for the obvious reasons that everybody is locked, locked down. Um, but, anyway, it's a wonderful place in Newport, and it looks after the, uh, the, the, the families and the members of families who have cancer. And it's uh, supported mainly by the volunteers who've had experience of this. So it's a, it's a wonderful place to go. So anyway, when Lorraine invited me to, uh, you know, sing a song or two and maybe get some people to look in and pledge a fiver or something, um, I'm only too happy to do it. Awesome. And um, yeah, I remember when we went to that opening and it closed, sadly, about two weeks later, wasn't it? So I hope it's going to reopen soon. Fingers crossed. Uh, well, it, it, w- it will reopen, I'm pretty sure about that. But um who knows when? That's the thing, isn't it? Exactly. And um, so which songs are you going to be singing or are you not allowed to reveal that? Oh, well, I, I, can, I can, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> so Fair enough. In case, well, in case somebody thought, oh, I'll have a look. Oh, no, I don't like that song, so I'll keep the five in my pocket. Now, have a look in when it's all happening, and um, which I'm not exactly sure when that is, but... Um, um, I'm sure Lorraine will be able to fill you up with that or maybe you know when it's happening too, Diana. Awesome, Mark. And also, um, have you been doing quite a lot of this, haven't you, from home now? Because obviously the lockdown, how do you feel about performing sort of from home? Is it the same thing without the crowd? What's, you know, what's your thoughts on that? Well, no, it's a, it's a very different experience, actually, because, um, it, you know, fortunately, with the software I use to, to, to stream on, um, has got a button you can push on the keyboard, which gives you applause, which uh, kind of helps helps along with the vibe a bit. But it's it is a very strange thing that you you know because you always try and put yourself into what you're performing, and um, and then it, it finishes and it, they say you can hear a pin drop. So <laughs> it's it's very unusual. But as I said, these are very strange times, aren't they? So I think everybody just does whatever they can to try and spread a bit of love and happiness around the place. I absolutely love the idea of that button. Imagine if clowns had that and they could just generate the laughter themselves. It'd be so much easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> it certainly would, yeah. They'd save a lot of pratfalls, that's for sure. <laughs> so what advice would you give to anyone who's sort of was used to performing in front of people and now has to take it behind the screen? Uh, yeah, well, it's you know, you, you just everybody has to do what they have to do, you know. And I have I have lots and lots of friends that that do streaming, similar sorts of things, you know. Um, you know, musicians like Gary Husband and uh, um, uh, which is so many people really are doing it because that's the only option that we have right now. Um, you know, being in the music business, the, the COVID uh, outbreak uh, just sort of, it was like somebody turning off a tap because all the all the work dried up and, um, you know, I, I really feel for musicians who I, I can sit, I'm considerably uh, insulated from this because I'm sort of, you know, at the latter end of my career. So I was able to screw a few bob away. But, you know, for the poor youngsters who are coming up and, um, you know, like are just releasing their album now or just released it when this outbreak happened, it's like something to turn the switch off. And unfortunately, you know, the, the time is always... Now it's it's like this is their time and it's kind of been robbed from them, you know. But hey ho, it's um you know a lot of people have suffered much worse things. So um you know you just keep your chin up. That's the thing. I know. Hopefully it'll all get back on track. Mark King from Level Forty Two. Thank you 